Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in Pretoria. Usually sunny South Africa, but the last few weeks it's been a bit rainy, which is uh, quite strange for this time of the year. It should be uh, weather should be going towards winter time, which means no rain here in Pretoria, South Africa. But we appreciate the rain. South Africa is very dry, so we are quite fortunate to still have a bit of rain and I'm looking out the window there and I'm just seeing clouds everywhere. Nevertheless, I'm Gustav Miller and this is Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 156. I'm so excited. I'm over halfway through the 14 year old single malt series that I'm doing. So I've done quite a number of them and today it is the Bol Blair 2000, vintage 2000 from the Bol Blair Distillery. Paul Blair Distillery founded in 1790. I've got a picture here. It's situated in the Highlands of Scotland, just next to Glenmorangie. And there is a bit of an aerial view. The Paul Blair Distillery, owned by Inverhaus Distillers. Let's have a look at our map of Scotland, Lowlands, Highlands, and right about there, you'll see Glenmorangie and there we go, Paul Blair right there. Paul Blair, Glenmorangie, Old Pulteney up that way, Highland Park there in the Orkney Islands. So it's quite a northerly distillery. And um, here we go, 14 year old, based on the distilling date and the bottle date. So you will notice over there, even though it's a vintage 2000, it says distilled 2000, bottled 2014, uh, and it's cask number 1356, and over there it says it was bottled specifically for the FNB Whiskey Live Festival here in South Africa 2014. It's matured in second full ex-bourbon casks and bottled at a whopping 54.6% alcohol by volume. So this is a serious one. This is the gift box. The typical beautiful Bob Blair gift box. All of the information there. Single cask, cask strength, 14 year old. Part of this series that I'm doing and I'm pairing all of these 14 year old single malt whiskies with bruschetta and then a specific topping that will match the whiskey. So here we go, a sparkling gold color, typical of ex-bourbon casks. This is a natural color and no chill filtration dram that I'm holding in my hand right here mm, and I can smell the food pairing options how exciting is this fruit and vanilla which you can expect from ex-bourbon casks fruit vanilla fresh fruit that is the rich honey there's also a bit of floral aromas coming from this whiskey bit of coconut and then a tropical pineapple some green apple some citrus and then an interesting leathery leathery aroma no spices or no alcohol burn even though 54 percent a fantastic nose Mm-hmm. The 54% BAM in the mouth on the palate saying I'm here and I'm strong. Wow. Wow. And the flavor if you have a cask strength whiskey usually not always, but usually there's also this flavor explosion. I mean, this is 
this is rich this is full bodied the vanilla and the honey and the fruits from the nose is directly on the palate but there's also a beautiful marshmallow flavor the fruit explosion the citrus the pineapple the apricot emerging on the flavor profile and it's got a long finish i mean it's still with me that only that one sip i'm getting like caramel custard oh paul blair always been a favorite of mine i've got the up on the shelf there the 19 90 and the 1989 yes right up there mm. oh man this is really wonderful i'm getting more and more of an appreciation for cask strength single cask bottlings on the finish it's long it's smooth sweet honey vanilla citrus right rich oak i'm getting the rich oak spices is coming through in the finish i can add a bit more water here because of the 54 percent a spiciness right at the end to bring a bit of balance but all in all this is a fruity dessert whiskey so i've added a few drops of water you can see there slightly cloudy after the water which is an indication of non filtration now just more sweet fruit after the water just more sweet fruit more creamy after the water mouth cutting sweet i think my my summary for this whiskey would be if i need to try to encapsulate everything i would say pineapple and vanilla marshmallow fridge tart that's the closest that i'm gonna get with this because there's a lot of sweetness in here so the price here in south africa there's not many of these bottles left it was only one cask bottled in 2014 but uh, when i could still find it 600 rand so i know that this is one of those bottlings in this range that i'm doing that one will probably not find ever again but still it gives a bit of a peek into bulb blair and what bulb blair is is able to put out there and I must say, not bad at all. If you want to pair this whiskey or a whiskey matured in second full ex-bourbon casks with a rich, fruity, sweet flavor profile, because this pairing is not only for this bottling, it's for any kind of bottling with this kind of flavor profile. Nevertheless, I have decided to go for, how am I going to do this now? I want to bring a bit of balance to the extreme sweetness so i have chosen bruschetta with salmon smoked salmon and slightly salty caviar orange caviar it's not caviar it's not the real thing but it's a very good imitation and a bit of cream cheese at the bottom just to bring a bit of balance to the sweetness so I'm going to see how this works. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. It's perfect. It brings the balance. There's a saltiness from the snack the sweetness from this whiskey and it just it's a marriage that happens the moment you experience all of this on your palate but i also have here sweet barbecue chicken on my second on my second bruschetta sweet barbecue chicken and caramelized pineapple i want to find out 
which one works best. And I must try to do this without making a mess in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, a little bit spicy. The pineapple sweetness, the, the chicken on that bruschetta. Mm. This is good. This is a mm, 4 out of 5. The salmon on the cream cheese with the coffee art and a few drops of honey. 4.5, maybe even a 5 out of 5. So I would go for the salmon with this type of dram right here. Thank you very much. This was exciting. So now we know which of those two is the best. Fantastic. I look forward to seeing you in the next video when we will be drawing towards the end of this series. I think I've got three 14-year-old single malts left for this series. So until then, slime jam.